welcome back to the channel so today what we're going to be doing is putting the second early potatoes in now i don't know if anybody subscribes or buys the magazine um grow your own magazine well they do offers and it says you get this free or whatever but basically it's 6.99 postage so you are paying for something but anyway some of the offers that come with them i tend to do to be honest because they're quite good um i've had like giant strawberries um cascading blackberries and things like that um and everything's come really really um really good so with these ones here what i have got is i got uh, three you had six potato sets in each variety but you got three and then these ones here um, we just bought from the local uh, garden centre so these ones here um, uh, Pentland Javelin uh, these ones here are uh, Desiree I think and these ones here what I have heard of is Charlotte so these take 13 to 15 weeks to um ready to harvest because of the second earlies and these ones here are the maris pier and they're the ones that we got from a local garden center so we've got six tubers of each of them and these ones here i've got 11 of the maris pier so i think this bed here that we've got should be big enough so we've dug it over weeded um and got out any big stones or anything like that, that there is that we needed to get out so what we're going to do now is we're just going to get these planted in hi so yeah we've dug four um trenches at the minute now what i watched somebody on youtube and they actually did an experiment um of three different uh ways to grow potatoes and there was no actual difference um in whether in whether you got more crop or not if you mounded them up or if you just had your fo um soil flat now the first early potatoes we have got them in mounds and we have got them in raised mounds so the second early is we're kind of going to do the same experiment where i'm going to plant them but i'm going to have a flat bed um and just obviously we've dug them quite deep in there you know the trenches are quite deep so we're going to put them in um the tags that i've got in the egg trays i'm just gonna screw or nail tack or whatever onto the side so i know which variety are where um and we'll give that a go so i'm just on putting these charlotte tubers in one thing i will say as well um i did a bit of a mistake where I left them in the box that they were delivered in um, and I just randomly opened the box and I'm not kidding you, the shoot, the, 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 the start of chitting and the shoots were just really, really long. So I knocked the shoots off um, and this is what um, they've, they've produced. Uh, they've had quite a while to chit again and they have... Um, you know, they're not massive, but um, like I say, they were like <laughs> well over an inch long or something. So, um, yeah, so I think they look all right, to be honest. I think they look quite good. So, yeah, I'm going to pop them in to there like that. And I'm just going to cover them over and I'm going to cover them over so that it's level. Then this little ticket here that's on there, I'm just going to put on the side of the wood there so I know what's where. So that's them in there. You need to make sure that the eyes or the chits are facing up over as well. Just like that. And I'm not sure if I've put these two close together, but we'll see. We'll just play it by ear um, and see how we go with them. But yeah, so that's the Charlottes in. This is the potato bed. All finished. I didn't have a name tag for the Maris Pia one, so I've just put a couple of little chocks in so we know where they are. So, 
thanks for watching guys um like and subscribe and uh i'll see you on the next one